Good day, friends. Thank you for joining me for a moment this week, and I pray that things are going well in your life, that you're staying healthy and wealthy and wise, and most of all, connected in a graceful way (laughs) with the one who loves us, who calls us by name. Speaking of being called by name, uh, the text for this Sunday is that wonderful one from Isaiah 43, fear not for I have called you by name, you are mine. That's deeply connected as well to the voice of God that speaks to Jesus at his baptism for one one place of of three different prominent places in the Gospels, saying, you are mine, my beloved, with you I am well pleased. It makes us think of all the ways God calls us forth by virtue of creating us and by virtue of the identity that is confirmed upon us in baptism. And that is our true self and calling that we are to live into and in the world, likewise in the world. I uh, find it ever more richer to be renewed, as we did this last Sunday, renewed in the baptismal vows of grace, of what it means uh, to be God's people. We are all of us called and we each of us have a calling and a vocation by virtue of our baptism. And that's the message for this Sunday. One of the focus, focuses, I think an optional, you know, sophisticated word is one of our fossae <laughs> for this next Sunday uh, stories for that theme will be to look at Rosa Parks' dramatic moment in that Montgomery bus back in 1955, which I think is appropriate as we go into a Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. Uh, that this particular battle that she chose to fight by simply sitting down at a certain time in a public bus is something that came out of uh, her genuine, authentic understanding of who she was as a child of God and what, what the right action was consequently. You know, we may suffer as a result of living out our integrity and truth of God's calling in the world. In fact, Jesus has kind of indicated that may happen sometimes, likely will. But we also suffer when we fail to do that in another way. And we're going to look at that as well as we also, in a broad way, look at what it means to be all called. All people in Christ are called to a specific vocation. Uh, It is a, a glorious and graceful truth that we hold and esteem And that we take seriously, though we might not take, I kind of recommend not taking ourselves so seriously a lot of the times, this calling of God and from God, we do take seriously and find our greatest joy and our greatest uh, energy for living through that. May God grant you his grace this day. And I'd like to end today with a prayer. Looking forward to being and sharing with you on Sunday if if you're in one of the two services I'm in and pray that you'll experience the joy of God if you're in the one in which I'm not able to see you in, in in the body presently. Let us pray. O Lord, our God, we rejoice and give thanks that you call us. It is universal. It is real. It is biblical. It is your word that you call us forth in your name into particular vocations in the world in specific ways to live out our true identity. We thank you for this truth and we pray that you may help sharpen our focus about what that means, what that means specifically for each of us and as your people who are called forth and who are challenged and invited to never forget your word, that you have called us by name, we are yours. Thanks be to God for that word and that truth. Go forward in the power and spirit of God to love and serve him in all that you say and do. See you next time.